October 1st. Today we celebrate the protecting veil of the Most Holy Mother of God. The Church has always glorified the Most Holy Mother of God as the protectress and defender of the Christian people, entreating by her intercession God's loving kindness towards us sinners. The event that the Church commemorates and celebrates today proves this constant protection of the Christian people by the Mother of God. On October 1st, 9-11, in the time of the Emperor Leo the Wise, also known as Leo the Philosopher, there was an all-night vigil at the Vlaherna Church of the Mother of God in Constantinople. The church was crowded. Saint Andrew, the fool for Christ, was standing at the back of the church with his disciple Epiphanius. At four o'clock in the morning, the Most Holy Mother of God appeared above the people with a veil spread over her outstretched hands, as though to protect them with this covering. She was clad in gold-encrusted purple and shone with an unspeakable radiance, surrounded by apostles and saints, martyrs and virgins. Seeing this vision, Saint Andrew gestured toward it and asked Epiphanius, Do you see how the Queen and Lady of all is praying for the whole world? Epiphanius replied, Yes, Father, I see it and I stand in dread. As a result, this commemoration was instituted to remind us both of this particular event and of the Mother of God's constant protection whenever we prayfully seek that protection, that shelter in our distress. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one for the ages of ages. Amen.
I shall open my mouth, and the Spirit will inspire it, and I shall add to the words of my song to the Queen and Mother. I shall be seen radiantly keeping feast and joyfully praising her wonders. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Having entered the church in great glory today as the Mother of God, with the ranks of the holy angels and the assemblies of the prophets and apostles, thou prayest for all Christians, delivering them from perils and grief, covering them with thy mercy. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Moses called thee the tabernacle and the rod of Aaron, For thou hast put forth Christ, the tree of life, and as thou hast boldness before him, O Queen, pray thou for us who honour thee, that he deliver us from all evil, that we may glorify the feast of thy protection. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Assembling choirs, David dances, not as he did before the ark of old, but even more now hastening into thy presence in the church with the ranks of the saints, And bowing down before thee, we say, Pray thou for us, the people who honour thee, that glorifying thy protection we may celebrate it with honour. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. The ranks of the angels hymn thee, O Theotokos, and the patriarchs and holy hierarchs glorify thee, hastening into thy presence in the church. And the holy Andrew then beheld thee with them, praying to God for us sinners, that he have mercy upon the people who glorify the feast of thy protection. O Theotokos, thou living and plentiful found, grant strength to those united in spiritual fellowship who sing hymns of praise to thee, and in thy divine glory grant unto them crowns of glory. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Like an unplowed field, thou didst manifestly produce the divine grain. Rejoice, O animate table, holding the bread of life. Rejoice, O Lady, thou inexhaustible wellspring of the water of life. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O Lady, we, thy people, standing before thee with faith in thy church, await thy mercy, visit our lowliness, and with thy holy protection, defend Orthodox Christians from all evil. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O far-famed Virgin, who was honorably prefigured by the prophets, with the angels they now do the homage, pray thou to go with them, that rejoicing we may all splendidly celebrate thy holy protection today. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Gideon prefigured thee as a fleece, for Christ God descended upon thee like dew. Pray thou to him, O Theotokos, that he grant victory to our orthodox hierarchs of all heresies, that casting them down like the Medes, they may glorify thy holy feast. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, with thy radiant homophorian, thou light is the church and the people more than the rays of the sun, and by thy visitation drivest away the darkness of our sins, praying for us to thy Son and God. O pure ever virgin, fervent and invincible intercessor, excellent and unashamed hope, bulwark protection and refuge of those who have recourse to thee, with the angels beseech thy Son and God, that he grant compunction, salvation and great mercy to the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O pure ever virgin, fervent and invincible intercessor, excellent and unashamed hope, bulwark protection and refuge of those who have recourse to thee, With the angels beseech thy Son and God that he grant compunction, salvation, 
and great mercy to the world. Seated in glory upon the throne of the Godhead, Jesus, most divine, is come on a swift cloud, and with his incorrupt arm has he saved those who cry aloud, Glory to thy power, O Christ. Most holy Mother of God, save us. O all hymned virgin, we cry out to thee in voices of hymnody. Rejoice, thou butter mountain, curdled by the Spirit. Rejoice, O lampstead, O jar bearing the manna which sweetens the senses of all the pious. Most holy Mother of God, save us. O Theotokos, God has sanctified holy thee more than the ark of Aaron and commanded the saints and the angels to do thee homage. With them I pray for this monastery and for the people who glorify thy honoured feast. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O Theotokos, come now in glory unto our church with the counsels of all the saints, as once the Holy Andrew beheld thee in the air, radiantly praying for Christians, and grant us thy mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Strengthen our armed forces against all adversaries, as God did David against Goliath. O Our Lady, that in gladness we may cry to thee, rejoice, O holy protection, and Helper of our cities, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With faith we fall down before you, O Sovereign Lady, and rendering homage with thanksgiving, we cry out to thee, Rejoice, O Virgin, full of the grace of God, our protection and wall of defence. The helper of those in misfortune, save us who have recourse to thee, for in thee do we place our trust. All creation stands in awe of thy divine glory, for thou, O virgin, who hast not known wedlock, didst contain within thy womb him who is the God of all. And giving birth to the timeless Son, thou grantest peace unto all who hymn thee. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Of old, Solomon described thee as the marriage couch and bed of the King of Heaven, and spoke of thee as surrounded by the seraphim of Theotokos. Wherefore we now beseech thee, O all holy Mother of God, Protect us from all misfortunes. Most holy Theotoko, save us. To thee, to the foremost among the angels and the honored prophets and apostles, render service with honor as the Mother of God, beholding thee making supplication for the world. And the Lord, hearkening to thine entreaty, saves thy city and the people who place their trust in thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Isaiah, great among the prophets, prophesied thee, saying that without knowing wedlock thou wouldst give birth to God. For thou, O pure Mary, art more holy than all, in that thou didst bear God in thy womb and in thine arms. To him pray thou for us, with thy protection, covering those who faithfully glorify thee. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Spreading spiritual wings, the counsels of all the saints came mystically to do thee homage, O Theotokos, beholding thee on the light cloud of glory, praying to Christ the Saviour that he grant victory to our armed forces, that they prevail over all adversaries. As we celebrate this sacred and solemn feast of the Theotokos, let us come clapping our hands, O people of the Lord, and glorify God who was born of heart. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Divinely wise priests, standing in thy church with the pious people, await thy mercy, O Theotokos, transform our grief into joy, in that thou hast given birth to the joy who has done away with the sins of all mankind. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. To thee does all the earth offer gifts, as to the Queen and Mother of God, Hierarchs bow down in homage, and all the people are glad, 
protected from all evil by thy supplications, O Theotokos. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Daniel described thee beforehand as a great mountain, for from thee Christ was born without seed. He has destroyed all the delusion of the demons, and has filled all the earth with his faith. To him do thou pray for us, who glorify the feast of thy protection, O Theotokos. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most pure one, we utter unto thee the cry of the angel. Rejoice, O throne of God, whereon Ezekiel beheld the Lord in the guise of a man. Born up by the cherubim, with them pray thou for us, O Theotokos, that he save our souls. Today the Virgin stands forth in the church, and with the choirs of the saints she invisibly prays to God for us. Angels and hierarchs offer homage, and the apostles and prophets join chorus. For for our sake the Theotokos entreats the pre-eternal God. Come, O ye people, let us delight in her most glorious miracles, for through her has Adam been delivered from corruption. She is the ark fashioned not by Noah but by God. Of old Moses was unable to see God in the fiery bush, but now the whole earth acknowledges the Son of God who was born of her and to whom she prays on our behalf. Wherefore we glorify her as the mother of God, for for our sake the Theotokos entreats the pre-eternal God. The Theotokos entreats the pre-eternal God. The holy children bravely trampled upon the threatening fire, refusing to worship creating things in place of the Creator. And they sang in joy, Blessed art thou, and praised above all, O Lord God of our fathers. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O Virgin, thou was not described by the many prophets, and was also unknown to the angels of heaven to minister to God. But now we all know thee to be the Theotokos, and require thy help and aid, O Blessed One. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O Virgin Theotokos, thou mountain curdled by the Spirit which Habakkuk saw, pouring forth the sweetness of healing upon the faithful, heal us who cry out to thy Son, Blessed is the God of our fathers. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He who bowed down the heavens made his abode within thee, O Virgin, and now regards thy supplication, fulfilling thy petitions, O pure Queen and Theotokos. To him do thou now earnestly pray, for we place our hope in thee, O Blessed One. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Christ God, our Creator and our Saviour, accept the entreaty of thy Mother which she offers to thee for us sinners, that rejoicing we may chant to thee, O all hymned God of our fathers, blessed are thou. The offspring of the Theotokos saved the holy children in the furnace. He who was then prefigured since has been born on earth, and he gathers all creation to sing. O all ye works of the Lord, praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. With the ranks of the angels, the honorable and glorious prophets, the preeminent apostles, the hierom martyrs, and holy hierarchs, O Lady, pray thou to God for us sinners who glorify the feast of thy protection in this land. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Cast down pride and arrogance, scatter the counsels of the unjust, and destroy those who instigate wars, O Mother of God, most honored Queen. 
and exalt the horn of our orthodox hierarchs that we may glorify thy feast, O all pure virgin Theotokos, crying him, the Lord, all ye works, and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Offering the hymnody with our mouths, we bow down before thee spiritually with our souls, for our hearts burn within us. O most pure Mother of God, have mercy upon us who pray to thee, who hymn the Lord and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. Both now and forever, the ages of ages. Amen. I have been weighed down by many sins, and am at a loss how to write in praise of thy protection, O Theotokos. But as thou art the Mother of God, adorn thy feast with miracles, that rejoicing we may all hymn the Lord and supremely exalt him throughout all ages. Let every mortal born on earth, radiant with light, in spirit leap for joy, and let the host of the angelic powers celebrate and honor the holy feast of the Mother of God, and let them cry, Rejoice, pure and blessed ever virgin, who has given birth to God. Most holy Mother of God, save us. O exalted King, who sits with the Father and are him by the seraphim, looked down upon the supplication of thy mother, which she offers to thee for us sinners, and wash away our sins. Save this monastery, multiply the people, grant health of body and victory over all adversaries through the prayers of her who gave thee birth. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. O divinely chosen Virgin, we cry out to thee with the voice of the angel. Rejoice! Thou who has led Adam back into paradise, rejoice, thou who drives the demons away with thy name. Rejoice, O hope of Christians, rejoice, sanctification of souls, rejoice, preserver of our monastery. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Remember us in thy supplications, O Virgin Lady and Theotokos, that we not perish because of the multitude of our sins. Protect us from all evil and grievous perils, for in thee do we place our trust, and honouring the feast of thy protection, we magnify thee. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. As Mother of God, thou hast received from God the gift to heal the infirmities of all Christians, to deliver them from misfortunes, to forgive their sins and save them from captivity and all want. This day in us not, O Lady, for thou knows that we are in need of help for our bodies and salvation for our souls. O most holy Lady, Virgin Theotokos, cover us with thy wondrous Amaphorion, preserving thy city and people from all evil, as the all-wondrous Andrew beheld thee, praying in the church of Lacherne, and send down thy great mercy upon us, O Sovereign Lady. Wisdom, most holy Mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ, God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, and the prayers of his holy and all pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and life-giving cross of the Lord and of the holy bodiless powers of heaven, 
with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisois, the great Brandon, the navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Molua, Gronan, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of Saint Anania, the holy apostle among the seventy, and Saint Romanus, whose memory we keep today, under the protection of the Holy Mother of God, whose protecting veil we celebrate this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For He is good and he loves mankind. Amen. By the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.